Hi everyone. I recently had the great pleasure to be interviewed by Dr. Steve Taubin, who is an international speaker, trainer, Amazon best-selling author, who has touched the lives of over 350,000 people throughout the world by teaching how people can stay positive in the worst of times, keeping that positive mindset. And boy, do we need it now. In part one of this interview, we talk about the importance of keeping a positive mindset. mindset. Also, how to keep sellers safe when listing their homes during the pandemic. I have found that there are many sellers still wanting to sell in the spring of 2020. Maybe that's you or someone you know. Have them call or text my private number at 618-210-2451 today. So I can go into detail how I can not only keep my clients safe, but also have success selling through this pandemic. In the meantime, enjoy the interview. This is Ready, Set, Sold, the show that helps real estate buyers, sellers, and agents in the St. Louis Metro East area be more successful. I'm your host, Brian Vogt, a local realtor, Cardinal, and Blues fan, and author of two Amazon number one best-selling books on real estate. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dr. Steve. Another awesome day. Uh, I'm here in Vermont where the weather has finally gotten nice, and uh, my guest today is in St. Louis where the weather has finally stopped being nice. <laughs> So we all have our laments. I mean, there's always something to complain about if we want to, isn't there? Uh, but I'm excited because uh, my friend Brian Vogt is with me again. We, we uh, did a, a chit chat with each other uh, about a week or so ago, and it was a lot of fun. And then uh, we, we lost the recording. So uh, it was lost to posterity or posterity. What is that? Posterity. Um, and now uh, it gives us an opportunity to once again kind of revisit some of the high points of, of life as we know it and as we are about to know it. And so Brian is this wonderful guy that I met in St. Louis who is a brilliant thinker, an author, a, an expert in the, in the field of real estate, uh, and just a cool dude. So um, Brian, thanks for joining me again today. Steve, you're welcome. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, our, our, I, think, I think you have our weather from yesterday because we have rainy and rain and more rain. But well, yes, thanks okay. for sending it. And if you don't mind, keep what you got and don't send that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we could totally do without that. Yeah, um, yeah. Always, yeah, it's a, it's always a, a fun experience to have uh, to have you around. I mean, we're you know we're always talking about like the the world that 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 surrounds us, and then how how we respond to what it is that we experience, and uh, you know how what's the best way to sit to experience a situation. I was I was thinking about that story of the um, the two twins who um, who for their birthday they get uh, in, sent into a room, and the room is just a big pile of manure. And one of the kids runs out crying, you know, is it terrible? And the other one starts digging. He says, there's got to be a pony in here somewhere. <laughs> so so, uh, so let's, you know, if we can, let's try to find the pony in all of this, right? <laughs> well, I, I think that's true. I, I think that's 100% true. I, I, you know, what we have is, is what we have. And, you know, it's, it's, it's how you look at anything. And I think it's a great analogy that you put together. Yes, things are going to be changing. Things have changed, and there'll be more changes as we move forward. We're not going to be in the same world that we were in February and January at the start of this year. Yeah. And I think when people start recognizing that and finding out what they can do and not what they can't do, I think they're going to be uh, in a much better mindset. And, and I do want to give a quick shout out to your book. You had a Amazon best-selling run, and I purchased it. And Bulletproof is the name. Yes, I would bring that up. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a great book. I read it. It's a, it's a great read. Thank you. And it really does give you that insight of what what people are going to be needing to do is to is to to change their focus. And and that's probably the biggest thing that I see that there are going to be changes, expect changes, and make the best of them. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's great. Just the idea that what you said about like being, starting to let go of what we don't have and start appreciating what we do have, right? right. right. That, you know, focusing on what is. I just, I just wrote a, um, uh, today's, you know, I, I write uh, kind of a weekly wisdom tip kind of a thing. And I just wrote one today and it's based on a Nasruddin story. You ever read any of those Nasruddin stories? I have not. I have not. Nasruddin is a, a Sufi folk hero. You know, he's just a character that pops up again and again in these Sufi stories, almost like, you know, like, like an Aesop's fable kind of a thing. 
And in this story, he says, it says, Nazrudin is standing on one side of a river, looking at the river. And there's a guy on the other side saying, hey, how do I get across the river? And Nazrudin says, you are across the river. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, right. no, I mean, like, be where you are. You know, you're already across the river. Why are you worrying about getting across the river when you are across the river? So, no, uh, I, I, I agree with that. I, I think that that you know, again, depending where you're at yeah. and what your situation is, maybe you are unfortunately unemployed right now. Yeah. Maybe you're you're in a situation where there's uncertainty if your job is not going to be coming back to you. Maybe you're working from home. Wherever you're at, I think that's a great analogy. Wherever you're at, start from there uh, and then decide where you want to move forward to. And, and I'm not saying it's always easy. I get that. But, but again, I, I, I think it's naive. So I'll talk about fellow realtors of mine, okay? Good people. They're nice people. But they have an um, ostrich mentality right now that, you know, let's stick our head in the sand and hopefully this goes away. And it doesn't mean they don't want to work. I don't mean it that way, but that's just kind of, let's wait it out. Right. And I think that's just a very, very, very bad idea for anyone, much less real estate. And so start talking about what you can do. Again, does your, does your company offer uh, some training? You know, uh, thing, you know, look, we're in a business where there's always training available. Mm -hmm. So, you know, online, you know, and, 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 and start picking up some of those uh, training that you didn't have time for normally. And even if it's just a starting point of that, of taking some sort of action to, to better yourself and then, and then move forward. And I think that applies to, you know, to everyone. Let me ask you something. Uh, that's, I mean, I absolutely 100% agree with you. And I, I love the way you said it. And, you know, this, this tendency for people to bury their heads in the sand and kind of hope it all goes away and like reject reality uh, and sure. in favor of just hope that, you know, eventually I could get back to work. Whereas there's all this opportunity right now. Um, the problem with being the person who is saying that or the danger that we face, because I'm saying the same thing, right? Is the people who say, well, that's, that's easy for you to say. You know, like you're not suffering. But I don't think that's true. I think we're all dealing with some form of suffering. We've all like seen a major, we've all taken a hit. So why is it that you who have, I'm sure, t I mean, you could tell me if it's true or not, have you taken a hit? And yet, are you still able to say, that's okay, you know, this is a hit, but this is where I am, and like, let's figure this out. Right, I, I, it, look, it always comes into our choices that we make and the decisions that we make. I mean, it's just, it's, it's as simple as that. And, you know, uh, not making a decision is a decision also. Mm. So, you know, not making the choice is the same thing. And, and, and so, you, I think you have to keep moving in the positive direction, and, and, and for me, looking at you know real estate in a different view than i looked at it before uh, has been actually a lot of more positives mm -hmm. uh, than than the actual negatives and so again you know safety is a key there are certain areas of the country i understand where you know real estate just isn't possible i, I get that but there's not many of them have that type of restrictions uh where i'm at right now Again, if you use safety, and safety is probably the number one factor that you have to be considerate when you're talking with buyers or sellers, sure. that you can move people forward. Because what I find is, is there's still people wanting to move. There's reasons for that. Um, it could be that they just want to move in the spring of 2020, and that was the game plan, and that's what they're going to do. There are buyers the same way. Uh, I just recently listed a home that was occupied with the safety protocols or things that we did with that uh, to a buyer that had sold their home. They needed another home to go to. Mm -hmm. So I think the understanding is that there are still buyers and they're you know available out there. If you know again, you, you need to be reasonable with price. You need to put in the safety protocols uh, to assure that but that you can move forward. So that's the other thing that, that as agents to make sure that, you know, what are the guidelines and rules that are going on in your particular area or state? What can you do versus just a blank statement that it's, it's over and I can't do anything and the rules prevent it? Well, do they? 
You know, do a little bit and talk to your broker manager, talk to someone, make sure that's 100% true. Question your assumptions. Great point. Yeah. Excellent point. Right. So, so because I mean, it's so easy to assume that, that it's dead in the water, there's nothing I can do. And as soon as you make that assumption, then there is nothing you can do because you're not, you're not looking for possibilities. So what are some of the things that you've seen that are, you know, what are, what are some of the responses to this that can allow real estate transactions to continue? I know you mentioned last time something about, you know, selling online or, or video or, you know, talk a little bit about what's, what's available. Well, I think what this, this, this pandemic has, has told us is, is the power of video is, is something that's probably been underutilized by agents for, for some time. And that's the first starting point. I mentioned the safety, the safety curve. So if you're a seller, and I'll give you a quick example. I just sold a home. Uh, the people were working from home. Uh, they had children. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are other factors that you have to consider. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is, is we've done video. And these are, these are extensive videos. These go through the main floor and then a video for the outside and for the upstairs floor level. So these, these, these are videos. And then I made them available to either the agents or the buyers as a starting point. And this is where I think this is where the future of real estate is going. The reason why I say that is I've been doing this for right a long time and it works both ways for the sellers in the safety situation, but also for the buyers. The biggest complaint that buyers have had throughout the years is, is the house I saw in the pictures is not the house I'm looking at. And that's not a good thing. Right. Okay. Uh, you know, it, 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 the widescreen lens, okay, that makes the rooms look bigger, even though you got a posty stamp for a second bedroom, right. whatever that is. Don't take pictures of the backyard because you don't have one, that type of situation. So, so it's a situation where buyers get frustrated. They're not seeing what they want. They can make a decision. It's wasting their time. It's also wasting the agent's time. On the same part with the sellers, it, it, it gives them more knowledge. The person coming into the home has strong interest in purchasing it. They, they understand the size of the rooms. They understand what your home has to offer. So in my opinion, it's a win-win situation for everyone. Got a question about real estate around the St. Louis Metro East area? Call me, Brian Vogt at 618-210-2451. Or for a free copy of my Amazon number one best-selling book, Ready, Set, Sold, visit my website at brianvote.com. Thank you for tuning in. This is Brian Vote. Until next time on Ready, Set, Sold.